We're in for another hot one next week, and that's not a forecast. We report from a week in the future, so we can just tell you how it's going to be. Our sun expert, Big Tug, is with us today. Tucker, is the sun mad at us? Yes, Aiden. Um, according to expert testimony and repeatable studies, it's been all but proven that the sun is not only angry, but it has been getting angrier over the course of several years. Well then, I guess that explains the whole global warming thing. Is there anything we can do to make the sun have a change of heart? Well, as you know, most efforts have been inconclusive, but we've been doing some research and we found out that ominous chanting has been doing some good work towards making the sun less angry. Just, you know, if you have the spare time, let out some ominous chants in your backyard. It might qualm some of the heat we're going to experience this summer. Wonderful. Uh, do you know of any chance that oh, might... Also, sacrifices. Sacrifices have been proven to help. Uh, significantly. I don't know at what point in human history we stopped doing human sacrifices, but it definitely was a huge mistake as a species. So, you know, animal or human, we're not sure which is more effective, but whatever you got in front of you, get moving on it. Or maybe just going outside on a sunny day and taking a nice brisk walk. Maybe the sun would appreciate that. We're not really sure. Uh, I think you're absolutely right about that last part. Uh, well, until we figure all this out, make sure you're eating plenty of that sunblock stuff every few Are hours. You are you eating the sunblock, Aiden? Every time. Usually before I even go outside, just to be safe. Okay, well wait to get outside to do that, because I we, the sun loves suffering.